part of the story, he couldn't get to a main normal airport. He had to find this hidden one. And maybe you could tell the story around how they went about finding this runway that they had ended up landing on. Well, when they first ran out of fuel, they, they turned towards Winnipeg, hoping to make it uh, an emergency landing at Winnipeg. But they did some really rough math right there in the cockpit, you know, back of the envelope, and figured out that they had a glide ratio of about 11 to 1. That means they were going down 1,000 feet for every 11,000 feet they went out. And that just simply wouldn't get them to Winnipeg. Um, they looked at the maps. There was nothing else. But fortunately, the co-pilot had been stationed at a former Royal Canadian Air Force base uh, called Gimli, and it was within their gliding range uh, from 41,000 feet. And as soon as they figured out they weren't going to make Winnipeg, they turned toward Gimli, which was decommissioned. And, uh, you know, if, if pilot Maurice Cantal had not been in the cockpit, they'd all be dead. It was his remembrance of this abandoned Air Force base that, that allowed them to land safely. Yeah, that's 